What's up everybody, Tony here with High Tech Check, and today we're going to be taking a look at a premium matte screen protector for the brand new iPhone 13 Pro Max. I will tell you Banks has some pretty nice screen protectors, so I'm expecting some pretty good things uh, out of this one as well. Now I will also be putting a link in the description in case you guys want to pick this up yourself. And if you guys like me and you want to support my channel, please use those links because it helps me keep purchasing products to do reviews for you guys. So I will be going over uh, the installation and my thoughts and feel of the screen protector itself. And I will also be doing a scratch and drop test to see how durable and scratch resistant this screen protector is. So let's go ahead and see what you get inside the box. So here it looks like it comes with a installation guide. Here we get two premium screen protectors and our installation packet which has all the things we need to install it on our phone. All right, so let's go ahead and open up our installation packet here. Looks like we get uh, a couple cloths. We get two alcohol wipes and we get some dust stickers. Okay, so the very first thing you're gonna wanna do is take out one of your uh, cleaning wipes and totally clean off your screen. Make sure you remove any dirt, fingerprints, oils, anything like that. Okay, and then once that's done, you go ahead and take your drying cloth and just wipe off any of the excess alcohol. Then you can use your dust stickers in case you happen to have some dust on your screen, which it looks like I already do. But first, I'm gonna go ahead and put on my installation guide. It does have a little indication here that says up, so we're gonna put that at the top of the phone where your earpiece is. So just kinda of press this over the top just like that. Perfect. I'll take my dust sticker. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our screen. And what you wanna do here is you're gonna simply peel, pull down in this little tab here and then just kinda of peel up on the screen protector. As you can see, it does come off the, the screen here. Make sure you don't touch the underside. Let's we'll go ahead and pick that up. Again, make sure there's no dust on the screen if there is. You can take it off, I think that's good. So now we'll go ahead and just simply put down our screen protector here. And then we'll go ahead and slide our finger down the middle. Make sure it adheres everywhere here. Looks like I missed a little piece of dust there, no big deal. And then what I like to do is hold down on the screen protector while lifting up on the guide so you don't lift off the protector itself and then just kind of smooth out uh, any parts that might uh, need some adhesion. Okay, so mo for the most parts, I only got some dust underneath the bottoms here. That's not really uh, any bubbles. Uh, it's just some pieces of dust that got stuck underneath the phone. But other than that, flawless installation. The screen feels so slick. It is super nice and it is full coverage as well. So it covers off uh, the whole phone. We'll go ahead and turn the screen on. It looks beautiful. As you can see, there's not really a glare. These lights are pretty bright here, but it pretty much dims it down. Uh, I can still see the screen very easily. And then it's got that nice matte look to it now. I think it looks super cool. It is so slick. It feels so cool. Touch works perfectly fine. I'll go ahead and look at our camera here. Yep, perfect. Very clear. So what they did for the camera, if you can see at the top here, it's clear and the rest of the screen is matte so it doesn't interfere uh, with the camera recording at all, which is nice. Perfect, man. I absolutely love the way that this feels, nice and smooth. So let's go ahead and test out the scratch protection now. So here I have a key. I just wanna see what happens when I run it across uh, the screen here to see if it creates any scratches, which it should not. Go ahead and wipe that off. And if we look, there are absolutely no scratches on the screen whatsoever. So we know it has some really great scratch protection for normal things like keys, 
uh, coins and such. But I'm going to go ahead and take it a little further. So here I have my Mohs picks. As you can see, we have a level four. Uh, these screen protectors typically don't start scratching until uh, probably like a level six. But just for the sake of testing, we're going to go ahead and start out with level four and we'll, we'll go from there. So that was a level four. As you can see, there are no scratches. So we'll move on to a level five. The keys are about a level four. So here we have level five. As you can see, there are no scratches even at the level five. So we'll go ahead and move on to uh, number six. So as you can see, it's ever so slight right there. Just barely see the scratches, which is really nothing. I, c I probably wouldn't even notice it if I didn't know that I had just scratched it. I mean, to me, I wouldn't even count that as a scratch. So let's go ahead and move on to a level seven now. So here we have our seven. Okay, let's compare. So even at a level seven, it still does amazing. It's like, it's just like the level six, really. I mean, you really can't even notice that. Like, let me turn the phone on here and let you see. You, There's no way you could even see that. If you weren't looking for it, you'd never be able to see it with the phone on. So that's level seven. That is... That's pretty good. I'm interested to see what a level eight does. Let's go ahead and move on here. I didn't even think we were gonna get to the eights. So here we are at number eight. Okay, so that's definitely uh, scratching it uh, a little more. So we'll go ahead and show you that. So there we have six, seven, and eight. The eight is definitely more significant than the six and the seven. So this screen protector really does have some great scratch protection. Like I said, for normal things that you're gonna have in your purse, like coins, keys, uh, things like that, you won't have to worry about getting this scratch here. That's more for like sandpaper and things like that that would probably uh, make that mark like that. So scratch protection really for this type of screen protector is definitely a plus. Okay, so now we're gonna do the drop test. What I have here is a 2.4 ounce steel metal ball. It is quite heavy, so when I drop it through the tube, it's probably gonna either shatter or make a dent on the screen protector. We'll see. First, we're gonna start off with 20 inches, and then for each consecutive time that it does not shatter, we'll go ahead and raise it up about half a foot. So let's go ahead and get started. Again, here we go, 20 inches in three, two, one, Go. As you can see on the screen here, it has not shattered. It made like a little, a very little uh, dent right there as you can see it, but the screen is pretty much unscathed. So we'll go ahead and raise it up. Okay, so here I've raised it up to two feet. Three, two, one. So as you can see, it did make a little circular dent in the screen, but it still has not shattered. So let's keep going. Okay, so here I have it raised up to two and a half feet. In three, two, one. As you can see, the screen still has not shattered, but we still have those little dents. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, here we're at three feet. In three, two, one. As you can see, still has not shattered. All right, now here I just wanted to show you guys because we are getting pretty high that I am actually at the, the length that I'm telling you. So here as you can see, we are a little more than three and a half feet. We're at 43 inches. We'll see what happens now. All right, here we go, a little more than three and a half feet at three, two, one. Still has not shattered at three and a half feet. Let's bump it up to four. All right, everybody, moment of truth. Four feet. 
in three, two, one. <laughs> he still has not shattered. Now keep in mind, this thing has been hit by this ball probably five times already and it still hasn't shattered. I can't really say that for a lot of the other screen protectors out there. Can you? And then here I'll show you the screen protector off uh, the quartz piece here just, just to show you what the actual damage is. And just to show you, here is the screen protector itself and there is the actual damage. It's just the uh, dents, no shattering or cracking whatsoever. So I'd love to tell you guys that I was surprised at the outcome of the drop test with the screen protector, but this is the third Banks screen protector that I've tested, and they are pretty much all just like this. This one just comes in matte. And I will tell you confidently, I've tested a lot of different tempered glass screen protectors, and none of them have held up as good as the Banks screen protector. So if you want great scratch protection and excellent drop protection, Banks is definitely going to be the one you're going to want to take a look at. So again, I will be putting a link in the description in case you guys want to pick this up yourself. And if you guys like me and you want to support my channel, please use that link because it helps me keep purchasing products to do reviews for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell to let you guys know when I put out new videos. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.